I'm here today with John Anderson, who's the Chief Executive of Currency Matters. Currency Matters, in association with Downtown and Business, have been uh, trying to persuade uh, the movers and shakers, decision makers of the city region that uh, Liverpool needs its own bank. In particular, uh, we're looking to get a bank that supports small and medium enterprises. So, John, uh, thanks for coming today to have a chat to us. Uh, tell me where this idea uh, originated from, Bank of Liverpool. Well, the idea came about due to my own experiences as an SME in the current banking climate. Difficult to get banking facilities. Very, very difficult. That stifles business. There has to be another way of doing this. At the same time, we have a backdrop in the, in the northwest, based on the powerhouse, uh, Liverpool Superport, Mersey Gateway, Mersey Barrage, uh, a whole host of infrastructure projects, HS2, possibly HS3. There's a real groundswell of economic activity in the northwest, particularly based around Liverpool. And on top of that, we have devolution, where we now have Steve Rotherham as the regional mayor, who's very, very keen to stimulate industry and innovation in the Liverpool city region. And in terms of a Bank of Liverpool, would that focus be on business, supporting business, and perhaps starting to close that gap that we have in this part of the world of business startups and business growth? Absolutely. Um, the, the, the notion is to provide mentored accounts for small and medium sized enterprises, startups as well. I mean, last year there were over 10,600 new businesses set up in the Merseyside area. You know, these guys need support, they need funding, they need finance. And it's our, I believe, it's our duty to give these guys a chance to be successful. What do you say, John, to those who uh, are sort of challenging and suggesting that there's already enough out there in the market, we don't need another bank? I'd say to them, consider the backdrop again. We have new businesses starting up in this region every day. And we have a major deficit of finance to the SME sector in the UK. I mean, there's a, there's a £6 billion a year deficit in funding across the UK for the SME sector. Only 2 to 3% of total bank lending goes to the SMEs in the UK. You know, if there's, we've, seen, we've seen in the last two years a spectacular rise in the provision of alternative finance and funding. I mean, online finance is up... 43% in 2016, you know, there's a demand for it. If there wasn't a demand for it, there wouldn't be the alternative funders. My view is there are banks who could do this. If people say there's not a market in Liverpool, there's any number of banks out there who are working in Liverpool right now and they won't argue with that. And in terms of um, the existing bank structure, um, there was a question at a recent Prime Minister's questions were they were talking about branch closures and lots of people say well that's more b to c but you've got some i think remarkably worrying statistics well, around what happens when branches do close very very simple statistic it comes from the british bankers association and they've done analysis on branch closure by postcode and they find if a branch closes lending and funding to the sme space goes down by 63 percent 63% in that postcode. And with Reuters saying we're going to close 700 plus branches this year, UBS saying over the next 10 years, half of the British bank network will be closed, branch network will be closed. We've currently got 8,000 bank branches in the UK, only 4,000 in the next 10 years. And we're trying to build productivity. We're trying to build growth. We're trying to stimulate our economy. That's not the way to go about it. So in terms of the Bank of Liverpool idea, which obviously downtown has got behind, but some key players in this city region have got behind as well. Um, next steps really, uh, where's that support coming from uh, and where do we go in 2018? Well, in, in terms of the support we've seen already, um, a lot of that's come from the, the politicos, um, the mayors, in, very, very keen to uh, support what we're doing. We've spoken to some of the most significant 
corporates in this city. They're very keen to support what we're doing. Also talking to major educational institutions in Liverpool who want to support and get involved. Because the next step for us is a feasibility study. We need to conduct a feasibility study uh, which will demonstrate, we hope, that we're not all completely barking mad. <laughs> and there is a real need and a real demand for funding and access to finance to the SME space in the Liverpool City region. Well, thanks, John. Thanks for joining us. And uh, keep watching uh, what's going on with that Bank of Liverpool story because certainly uh, from January there'll be a number of things happening around events, uh, media activity, uh, and certainly uh, some conversations happening with investors in London as well to hopefully progress what uh, we believe is a very exciting initiative.